Hello, I'm Brett Lesser, Business Development Sales Manager here at Harrington Hoist, and welcome to Lessons on Lifting. Hi, I'm Ken. I'm from Harrington Engineering Department, and today we're going to demonstrate how to load test manual chain hoist and power chain hoist. ASME B30.16 and 21 require a hoist to be load tested if its load suspension parts have been replaced, repaired, or serviced. The load will be lo loaded to no less than 100% capacity, but no more than 125% capacity. Harrington's DHLT is a great tester to load test a hoist to this standard. Okay, let's get started. First thing you want to do is we want to make sure our wheels are locked and in place. Now our brakes on, now we'll plug our, our unit in. Our unit is powered by 230 volt single phase power. Our unit's powered by a hydraulic pump motor and uh, it fills an accumulator up to 2400 psi. Once the pressure of 2400 psi is reached, the pump will stop running. Um, as we start lifting, lowering the, the lower arm, we'll start bleeding some of the energy that's stored in that accumulator and when the pressure bleeds back down to 1800 psi, the pump will cycle back on again. Okay, our test unit comes with two loading points, 5 ton link and a 10 ton link. The 5 ton link tests capacities between 1 and 5 ton. The 10 ton link tests capacities between 6 and 10 ton. We're going to put our 1 ton hoist on our 5 ton link and test it. Okay, now that we have our 1 ton hoist connected, we need to, we need to connect our test cords to the hoist and the, and the box. Harrington offers three test cords. This test cord here is going to be used for this one. This is our latest ER2 model hoist. The plugs are different on each hoist. We have one for our early ESM and ER1 models, and we have one for a direct wired hoist. The test cord is important. It actually takes control of the hoist up circuit. It's connected in series with the limit switch that is located on the back of the hoist load tester that prevents you from lifting the lower arm too far. Once it makes contact with that limit switch, it breaks the only the up circuit of the hoist, stop it from lifting any further. Okay, our next step is to apply power to the hoist. It's a good idea to check the label on your hoist to see what voltage your hoist requires. Now that our unit's powered up, we can test it for functionality. We're now ready for our load test. Okay, now to complete our load test, we're going to connect our lower hook to our link on our lower arm. Okay, at this point we have our hook connected to our bottom link. We're ready to lift. But before we do that, we want to make sure we have at least 100 PSI 
dial in on our pressure control valve. If we try and lift and lower that lower arm while that pressure is at zero, you could cause damage to that pressure control valve. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to set our pressure control valve. Every tester has its own unique chart. They're identified by the serial numbers that's on the chart and the serial number that's on the tester. If you should happen to lose or misplace your chart for your tester, just call us, provide us with the serial number of your, of your load tester, and we can provide you with a new chart. In this case, we have a one ton hoist. I'm gonna set this for one ton, which is 236 pounds. That will give me my 125% load capacity. At this point, our hoist is under load. What we want to look for now is any kind of drift or any unusual noises. Just hold it for like 15 seconds and you can lower the load. This hoist passed our load test. That completes this segment of Lessons on Lifting. And thank you for joining the revolution.